you guys Rob Bush back in the garage again uh, pretty much got all the pieces together for the uh, the new motor wanted to show you what I got going on here two side plates are drilled we kind of seen that earlier in the first part of this um, the biggest part is the the rotor itself and constructing it I've tried a couple different ideas and the first way I tried and that was one that actually failed because of the epoxy went, but that was even a little different of a design. But we started with a hitch nut that was a one and a quarter shank and put it on the lathe and kind of bored it out true and uh, I got rid of the threads for better interference fit. And then we uh, made an aluminum bushing that would uh, fasten to the, the, the shaft and uh, so forth but what I found is that the nuts themselves weren't really true 60 degrees off they're really far difference between each end or between each one <clears throat> so um, I got looked into uh, just raw hexagonal steel and this holds true that they're not perfect 60 but every one is the same for the most part maybe a little variance but not nothing that's really visible to the eye um, or the angle gauge so then what we had to do is we took the this is a one and three quarter inch uh, hexagonal steel just mild steel uh, punch a hole bore it out again so that it was somewhat like the uh, the hitch nut make another bushing and punch it in and then we'd stick the magnets to it and cast it so show you guys the new rotor and kind of how I casted it now not it's not the best thing it's the first time I vote oh, I'm gonna have to shake the camera around for a second but uh, I tried my luck at this uh, plastic stuff that was supposed to dry clear as like glass and I think I kinda didn't do it right I've got a lot of air bubbles in there but uh, We've got the uh, six one inch by one inch neodymium magnets, I think N52 or something like that, about 113 pounds of force. They uh, they don't separate from themselves very easy. So now you can see the aluminum bushing, um, the magnets were stuck on the nut, and uh, what we used is the uh, the center stand of a CD case, dual, or the uh, CD holder, some four inch PVC, and kind of just uh, the post itself I put some tape around the uh, the post itself to center the uh, bushing because it was a bit smaller than the bushing hole so I got it pretty close same with the PVC I had to space it out a couple layers of tape and then a quarter um, every you know 90 degrees and then once that was done I uh, filled it up what I used was this uh, casting craft casting resin seemed pretty cool the pieces that they showed me seemed like it worked pretty well but like I said it's definitely uh, solid but a lot of air bubbles and I don't know if that's because of my mixing procedure or what happened there but uh, the next is the uh, the axle the shaft itself um, we made this on the lathe this was uh, I think attempt number four or five at getting this bad boy good and, and well enough for use anyway. Um, essentially you got uh, this little area here with the stopper that's where the rotor sits fastens down and then goes in between the plates milled down to uh, eight well just a hair over eight millimeter for a little bit of an interference fit for the uh, bearings at the end um, but now we have the aluminum shaft we're, I'm going to uh, let the rotor probably cure one, oh, at least overnight again. I, I just kept did this last night, and it's it's solid. It, it was a little tacky this morning, but it's been outside all day. It seems like all the tackiness is gone. But uh, one thing that it does have is a, a lip on this side from just a gravity uh, curing. So I've cut it down with a razor blade while it was still a little soft, but. Uh, I want to try to true it up on the lathe, both this surface and both flat surfaces. The uh, other side of this is pretty decent. 
as it sat on the flat of the CD case. But uh, the other side, it was just gravity and it's got a bit of a lip. So if I can true it up on the lathe, I'd be happy. I don't know if the plastic's designed to be machined or not. I don't want to build another one. But if I have to, I have to. But anyway, got the pieces. We'll start putting it together, recording some video, and uh, hopefully we'll be building some coils and getting this thing turning here soon. This raw bush piece.